always tells us we just have to wrestle, you know, the whole match, and that's what I was trying to do. Um, I knew I was going to score a lot of points off of reshots and off of that guy's offensive moves. So, uh, you know, I saw my opportunity, and I just wrestled as hard as I could to get that, uh, get the corner and get that last takedown for the win. On that last takedown, how did you avoid him grabbing that toe and twerking on you like that? Was it just a matter of execution, or...? Um, it was just a scramble, to be honest. I can't remember exactly what happened, but uh, I, don't know, I was just wrestling as hard as I could <laughs> to try to get that deli. And it was a real cool feeling. Well, what was That's your impression of the, uh, the atmosphere, especially once uh, the two points got over? That was awesome. That was the coolest feeling I've ever <laughs> felt in that wrestling room, just like the noise and the atmosphere. Uh, just everybody cheering loud, and I don't think you know, I won't forget that for a long time. Morgan. Knowing that you would have the second to last match this morning, did you did you wake up and think, you know, this is possible that I could maybe be the, the linchpin the guy who goes out and clinches it? And, I mean, did you think about that at all? Yeah, I mean, it's always in the back of your mind, but, um, you know, I try to keep my focus on my match and uh, don't really worry about what happens. It's fun to watch and it's good to watch your teammates wrestle and know what's happening, but at the same time, you got to keep your focus on your match and uh, just wrestle your match. Ed, uh, as you probably know, Iowa got beat by Ohio State Friday night. Obviously, you guys took it to them today. How happy are you that you aren't in the Iowa wrestling room this week when they get back to get back to Iowa? I mean, like, I know when they go back, it's just they have a lot of things they want to focus on a lot more. Uh, it's just going to be like a whole lot of, you know, trying to, them trying to get back to where they were at before. So I just, I'm glad I'm not there. Like, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I'm at Penn State, obviously. But. That's a given. Hey, Cal, you, um, on Tuesday, I believe it was, you said you had complete confidence in Nico to go out there and set the tone. Even though he didn't get full out the win, he had a, quite a good matchup against a national champion. Um, what did you say to him after the match, and like, what, what were your thoughts at his performance at 125? Well, I think Nico did a great job. He, uh, you know, he hustled and battled, and you know, it was a lot of tough situations, and um, in a lot of, uh, you know, it was just a you know, he's got a big heart, and um, McDonough's real tough in those positions that they spent most of the match in, and uh, it was just uh, an effort, and Nico's pretty good in those positions, obviously, too, but um, to go out there and do what he did and give himself a chance to win uh, in a big match and a big duel against the national champion, I mean, that's, uh, you got to take you got to take some pauses out of that, I mean, that's uh, something to build off of, for sure. Kevin, you talk a lot about attitude and about desire. Did you see that throughout the lineup today? Um, I, I think so. I mean, these guys, uh, they, they, they certainly wanted to win. You know, I think um, you, know, you can see it was, we were a little uh, little hesitant uh, throughout the match, but, um, but uh, the, you know, it's a big match for us and our program, I guess, and uh, that's understandable, but it gives us something that, you know, we can keep building on and uh, go from there. Coach, looking on, what's it say to you that at 197, Morgan, a freshman, really sealed the deal, sealed the match for you? What's that say to you as far as your team lineup looks? Oh, I thought that was, uh, thought that was awesome. You know, I mean, Morgan McIntosh is a tough dude. <laughs> um, they, they always rush up to me right after the match and say, well, who do you want to give the Ridge Riley Award to, winner to? And I was like, Ed Ruth, Ed Ruth. And I'm like, oh, wait, wait, get back here. Forgot, you know, Morgan, Morgan <laughs> to today. You know, so I mean, these two both wrestled uh, incredible matches, and for Morgan to do what he did, I mean, he's just just a competitor. You know, I mean, he's not, he's never gonna give anything up. He's gonna, he's gonna fight uh, tooth and nail um, to the last second, and that's um, what it takes to be to be a great one. And Ed, for you, you were a freshman last year. What's it mean to you looking on to see a freshman in that spot clinch the match for you guys? Oh man, I love it. I just love seeing that, seeing the front like. Red shirt, not even a red shirt, true freshman going out there, you know, it's, it, watching him wrestle, like, I take that into, like, every next match after that, cause, you know, it's just, like, it's it, it's inspiring to see him go out there wrestling seniors, juniors, fifth-year seniors, you know, and he's going out there and he's giving it to these guys and he's giving them a good match. And it's just, like, wow, like, as he's doing this, like, <laughs> like, I, I have some hair along the line for, like, I have to match him, so, <laughs> so right now, he's just a phenom to me. Thank <laughs> you.